Why, hello, I'm Maris, this is Game Request. This is Children of Morda. Um, this is a game that came out September of last year. Um, I did just receive a key for it, so thanks to the devs for that, because they have been doing some free content update. And I am so super happy they gave me a copy of this game, because it's amazing. So let's get into it. I'm already... 15 hours into this game, 20 hours into this game. Um, so let me take you through a couple things. This is some of the things I'm currently working on. Um, tons going on in this game. I've unlocked all the characters. This up here is your family skills. And actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. We're going to go to the first dungeon because I actually just unlocked Joey here. This is my... This is Uncle Ben's son. I'll introduce you to the family when we get over. Let's sip some tea. Now, he is a two-hander hammer wielder. Oh, he's slow. Yes. Okay. He has no extra attacks right now. So, we're going to go along, and this is probably actually the best way to show you some of how cool this game is. Now, all of these are procedurally generated. This is also a roguelike, or a rogue, rogue light, I should say. You are, let me just show you real quick here. Everybody's got a skill tree. The skill tree saves... Um, you know, all the things you find, relics, all that stuff, that all saves. What's roguelike is if you quote-unquote die, which you, I guess, don't necessarily die. You're, you have this crystal shard on you that saves you before you take your last breath. And miraculously, you're at full health back at your house, but you do have to do the dungeon all over again. The gold is called Morv, and I'll show you how that's done, too. But let's go through here. Now, there we go. What do we got? Okay. I'm going to do this. So, with each of the characters that I've noticed so far, because I've taken them through all of these dungeons, and I've been trying to not go to the next dungeon unless the I can beat the previous dungeon with the individual. And the reason for that is, is that a lot of the quests in here, and like side quests and events and things like that, happen in each of the caves. But you have to play with each of the characters all to kind of elicit getting all the items for a quest or all the special events. Um, oh, I got it. Oh, you son of a... Okay. All right, this. Oh, you son of a... All right. All right. I think. Is this going to be this again? I just had that last time. There's been quite a few of them. One of them only has three buttons. And, oh, here we go. This is a Divine Grace. So that is a permanent, like, upgrade, I guess you could say. And then there's going to be, like, some relics, some items that you can use, some spells. There's runes that upgrade uh, your all your uh, attacks, whether it be your special or your um, primary attack. So let's keep going here. Every character is a completely different play style as well. So what you just saw next to me was a combo. I believe it triggers after you kill 10. Oh, that was lovely. Damn, did you see that? Oh, 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 God, there's stuff on the ground. 
All right, so what do we got? Primary attacks have a chance to release Kevin's knives. Fan of knives. All right, well, I think there's also... Is this... Let's see here. Mark's Punch of Concentration is cast... Uh, yeah, I'll keep the, uh... I'll keep the Fan of Knives. So. Let's do this. I'm gonna open that. And I want to forewarn you, this game looks cutesy, but it's pretty awful. It, it really is. Like... Hopefully we'll run into some of the super gory, like, scenes, like, just slain children all over, like, this is a dark game. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of the story background while we're going through this. Um, even though Mark's a low level, he sh I should be able to at least get to the boss in this. But, uh, you're the Bergson family, and historically... Your job is to protect the mountain, I... The mountain, or you're supposed to protect the people from corruption that comes from the mountain that you live near. That's caused by the mountain god, O or O. And, um... You serve a goddess, Rhea, or Rhea Daya. And... Pretty much all your people have different things that they're good at. Like the person you start with, who's like the father figure to the main family, is sword and board. And okay, so we got another one damage prone with the number of gemstones you possess. That's a good one. Because sometimes I've gotten up to like 13 gemstones and like the shop has nothing on it. And yes, there's a shop. Hopefully we'll run into it. Um... It's, there's a lot in here. But, so anyway, so you get, John's like the father. He's sword and board. He has an elder son, Mark, who is, I've been jokingly calling Kwai Chang Kang. Um, he's like a monk style. He does martial arts. He has like a quick charge. Um, here's a dead body. He, you know, he's fist, no weapon, just melee. Uh, then you have the eldest daughter, who's the tier, you know, as we're going down here. Um, let's see here. All right, we cleared this out. Yeah. So my John's eldest daughter is a ranger, so she's bow and arrow. Uh, he has a son down from that, that is the rogue who uses dual daggers. Um, and then as you progress, you unlock you start to unlock a kid. So I've unlocked his youngest daughter, who's a fire mage. And now, as I said in the beginning, this is Uncle Ben's son. Um, you know, we don't know a lot about what went on with the mom and Uncle Ben and everything like that. We just know that she left a long time ago. He hasn't seen her. And then he, you know, he realizes this is his kid when he shows up one day when he's trying to find Sheila. Um, and he is a dual wielding hammer. So these yellow ones are ferocious mobs. They're kind of like a, I guess a mini boss you could say. And then there's these red ones that are crazy. Um, yeah, you know what? We're going to switch to the lightning damage on the primary attack. And we have two skills, so... that in there. I think I'm going to put two more in that. So... Oh yeah, that's nice. Now these runes only last for a period of time. If you notice, there's a red bar under my primary attack down the bottom left of the screen. That is how long the... The rune will last. Ooh. Man. Okay. 
All right, so let's go do this. This should be an event of some type. What's this? Found an item. Oh, okay. Stone has it. So that that's probably a um, item for my house. You do, or I have found items to decorate my house with. Which I mean, in, in light of everything being so gory and horrifying, you know, once you actually like have an understanding of what's going on, it's it's cool that you can like get stuff to decorate your house. Oh, uh, this one's good. Increased critical hit chance. Uh, we still gotta go down. Also, you absolutely 100% do want to explore the whole dungeon. Um, there are all types of side events. Like, for instance, there is this human-faced bird that you can run into that will have you chase her it, I, I think it's her, um, through a cave full of bosses, hard mobs, the whole nine yards. You're dodging, dodging, dodging. The trick is you don't want to stop and fight. You really want to run through to the end. And she'll give you a mysterious egg. Well, mysterious eggs are the only way you can re-roll your skill points if you want to re-roll. So, and they're not in every dungeon. They're random. But they're like kind of like off the beaten path. You know, you don't necessarily run into them all the time. So, you know, it's... You gotta replay and replay and replay, which is not bad, because this has been a lot of fun. And again, every time you replay a dungeon with someone, different events happen, there's different things going on, different interactions, different secret rooms, treasure rooms. You can... Um, Play this co-op, I believe. I'm not sure if the other person has to have a copy. I have not tried it, so don't quote me on that. But there are instances where it would be better if you have two people. And if you're playing solo, they actually hook you up with an AI family member and you go through with that person. Or you might be taking them, them on a quest to like do something and you just happen to be in the dungeon that they're in. It's like, hey, you know more damage but fill less stamina no nope all right so we have two doors in this one so this is out what's this is this the shop it is so uh three son of a gun all right let's go see if we can find another one for that even though that'll take me down to zero Well, you know what, though? The boss fight's right there, so... I'll tell you what, that lightning is awesome. Eventually, I'll unlock a... Oh, nice. Like a rage meter... Um, that does certain, uh, attacks. Like, there's all, like, different attacks. Again, when you get these relics and stuff, you're changing everything. There's, I like the Grimm's orbs. It's two fire orbs that swirl around you that cause damage when stuff gets close to you. Like, just all sorts of cool stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can use environmental effects to kill animals. Oh, so slow. There we go. Anything else down here? The cutscenes in this game are great, too. Um, they're nice little vignettes. It's just, they've, they've done very well with this. And the storyline's been great, too. Ah, oh, okay, what do we get? Part of, I know the most recent of the free updates, oh yeah, was actually um, like more cutscenes, more um, fleshed out storylines, things like that. They added a couple new settings, I believe. It's, you know, I'm, I'm emotionally invested at this point. I can't say I'm not. 
All right. Do I want to? No, we're gonna. We're just gonna go. Go. Let's take a sip of tea. So this little puppy that I'm gonna talk to in a second. He was an early on event that I found in a cave. In this in this particular section of caves, I believe playing as John, I want to say, or his daughter. And um, he was hurt. The mother was killed. Blood splattered all over. Things picking on her corpse stuff. He's trying to fight them off. Um, and I saved him. I had to use the three characters that I had unlocked, each of them to get an herb to fix him and heal him of the corruption. And now he's my buddy. Oh, he gives me healing potions and all that good stuff. Okay, so this is fairly easy fight. It's not... Spider. I have enough health that I can do this. There we go. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the house, which you saw briefly when we started, and we're going to take a look at stuff. I should have some money to do some upgrades and everything now, so... Oh, we're going to get a cutscene. So that's Their John and Mary. Back to Jovial, the celebration day all those years back in Barahat. The day they had met and their hearts played the same song. The day their eyes started to see nothing but each other. <laughs> it was love that had sustained the verses through thick and thin. The cutscenes are really cute. The artwork is very well done in this. The backgrounds, like, look at this. Beautiful work. Beautiful. All right, so this is Uncle Ben here. And he is our blacksmith, our person he can up our armor attack you know you unlock these as you go along these are still locked agility so then we come over here and this is grandma margaret which is hilarious because my grandmother's name is margaret or marge <laughs> oh she's got something to say why would the mountain god corrupt the world what kind of evil was it that brought it forth margaret these questions were as important as where and how. So this is called the Book Array. These are extra things. Like you can get more experience from the enemies, more money, more runes. You know, they update like drops, things like that. And then obviously you have the kids. Here's Kevin, your rogue. That's Mary, the wife. That's John in the library. The library is where you can access all the different things. Um, there's documents all over. You've got your daughter. I think um, John's down. Or Joe. This is Joey. And then this is Mark. And this is the youngest daughter. And then events happen all around out here. There's been some beautiful vignettes where you're sitting here and it pans out to this gorgeous, gorgeous, just vista. Let's do, let's do someone else. Um, let's do the secondary cave. Um, now one thing you do will some, you will sometimes get is a, not a, like a fatigue, but like a corruption fatigue almost. Um, we're going to use Kevin. I'm just going to show you real quick. I think his gameplay is very fun very fast Let's see if I can get through this one this I believe is three yeah let's do it 
Uh, you can. I'm not using a controller with this. I am um, playing keyboard and mouse. This is for keyboard and mouse. But once you get used to the controls, it's actually Before like the hero real easy. And okay. Let's just. So it was this, this, that. There we go. Easy enough. All right. So let's activate that for a little bit. Hurrah. As you can see, he has a short range, but he's just so fast. Alright. Those ferocious enemies and the bosses all do different things. So that guy, if you notice, there were some weird, like, soldier skeleton looking things. That's a nice, that's a nice little item to use. Three gems. Um, he was summoning them. So, you know, you just got to watch. Some will spawn these crystals on the ground that freeze you, and then they'll do something like a slam to you. Um, some will cast a poisonous, like, acid blob underneath you. stand on those spikes. Those spikes hurt. That's why they have a uh, an item that does uh, less environmental trap damage. They hurt big time. We got a body there to loot. Oh. Ah. Monies! Monies! Gimme, gimme! I'm sorry if you hear me sniffling, too. Again, my allergies are... redonky donk It's like I feel like I haven't had a break from them in, like, years. <laughs> Nearby enemies? Oh, this is a good one. This is a real good one. So if you take damage, the enemies in a certain circumference of you also take damage. Nice little... Nice little thing. Especially when you're a melee character who's gotta be up close, you're gonna take it. See? There you go. Bam. Now, some individuals, like the little girl who's the fire mage, get bonuses for not getting hit. Um, she builds up, like, a protective shield. Um, the ranger, if she stands still, she does a lot more damage per hit. Oh, okay, so speaking of... Here's a two... Here's a uh, two-person thing. Okay. And usually these are a little harder, a little more in the way of either more bosses or more ferocious mobs. Kind of the same when you're chasing that bird. You're going to run into a lot more. Now, being that the character I'm playing is like level, I think it's like 10, close to 10. My nose is itchy. Oh. And there's the crystals for you. Let's just get that obelisk. So those crystals will stun you. Oh god. Eee, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Move, Joey, move. Ay, 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 my heart. I can't handle it. Oh, we gotta go up. Okay. Yep. 
This is also an issue with the corpses. The corruption will sometime seep into them. And let's see here. Oh, treasure room. Very nice. All right, so he's going to leave. I think he's going to leave unless he's trying to steal my treasure. I guess he's just going to hang out. Did I get everything? Yeah. Peace, Joey. Thanks a bunch. And another one. Wee. All right. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, the higher the level the things get, the more expensive they are as well. So, we got a grace. Empty, but for a memento of powers that have disappeared. That's pretty super duper. All right, let's see if we can get through this a bit quicker for you guys, so we can so we can get through these bo this boss fight pretty, uh, I think this is the dual goblin, the goblin twins, I believe they're called. Sometimes when you check bodies, they'll spawn, like, corrupt things, too. So you gotta just be prepared. Yay! Oh, I like this one. Oh. Are we here? Fast. It's glorious. Oh. Yep. I was hoping to get a room for a rune for my primary attack, but guess that's not in the cards right now. guys. There's runes on the ground if you pay attention. Um, all right. There will be like these faint runes on the ground and if you kill mobs while standing on them it actually charges them up and then they usually will give you like gold or some type of bonus item. This is the shop. Um, nope. Nope. Nah. Nothing good. Moving on. Alright, let's get to the boss here. Something more sinister oh will be appearing soon. Gotta stop those. Oh, here's a poison poison guy right there. So 
I've noticed as I've unlocked more characters, more and more of those have started to show up, and they give you, like, if there's an event you need to stop, it'll give you that vocal cue like that did, where it said that the, the, uh, if you didn't stop the summoning, something more sinister was gonna come out, and I have seen them summon, like, actual, like, bosses. The, uh, the guys that are a little harsher than the ferocious enemies. And by a little harsher, I mean first time I encountered one, I got wiped out. I don't even know what hit me. Go. All right, let's just go over here real quick. This is another shop. Uh, no. Okay, that's not bad. No. All right, I'll take that one. All right, so now this should be the two goblins. Take another sip of tea. Grab money. I don't need the health potion. The creature that now threatened the hero was if a If you hold escape, it'll, uh... That's, uh... That's my special. Since my enough, rage bar was, uh... Surely too well. Just massacring these guys. And there you go. Great game. Been having a ton of fun. Really happy that they've been doing, um, you know, free content updates and everything. Tons of replayability. And if you like dungeon crawlers, isometric games. Oh, look at this. Another cutscene. Really, really well done. The truth hurts sometimes. And often the truth that hurts is hard to share. Margaret was wondering whether the world would just be a better place without the gods and goddesses. All right. Really great, great game. I, uh, I couldn't recommend it more. I do, want, again, want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.